Assalamu alaikum, my name is Sister Sara. I'm no longer on social media and I haven't been for the past three days. So any messages, any videos, any DMs, texts, voice notes, any comments that you get claiming to be from me aren't me. Any accounts that are made aren't from me. I haven't been on social media for the past three days and I will never ever be on social media again. Do not have access to any electronical devices and I'm not in contact with the couple. This is my last and final st statement on the situation. I've always wanted to be an amazing Rakia. My dream was to be the best female Rakia out there. I really genuinely wanted to help people. I've not known the couple no longer just little over a year now and I've come to find myself in a really toxic situation now where it's affected my mental, my physical health and most importantly my Iman and connection with Allah and I want out forever now, forever, I want out but before I go I know there's a lot that I need to address I want to begin begging the Muslim Ummah for anybody who I've hurt intentionally unintentionally whether it was to your face or behind the screen <clears throat> whether it was in person anybody who's been misguided by my posts that I've put online I beg for your forgiveness and I beg Allah forgives me I apologise to my family. Social media has allowed us public figures to live two completely separate lives. What you see on the screen is not what you always get and you shouldn't believe everything you see. You don't know what happens behind closed doors. You have no idea. For example, Nobody knows that for the past year or so I've been suffering from depression. Nobody knows that at points my Iman was so, so low that it led me to not wanting to live anymore. Nobody knows that me and Hasna have been married a while. You don't know these things because these are the things we don't want you to know. These are the things we don't post about or write a caption about. I've been pulled out this situation now. It has not. It's no longer a part of my life. And it never will be. I intend to build bridges with all the people I've hurt, all the pain I've caused. I intend to better my mental health now, my physical well-being, but most importantly my connection with Allah. We need to fix that. I pray you guys can forgive me one day. And I pray Allah forgives me. I'll ask you one thing, just to keep me in your du'as. May Allah forgive us all. Barakallah <laughs> feekum. As-salamu alaykum.